Box box, why not Morello's Braum? What the f Ah, yes. Do you guys know about the best in slot Braum build? The four item Braum build where you slam a Morello's fourth item on Braum? That's my bad. I forgot about the, the legendary four item Braum. That game was doomed. That game was almost a guaranteed eight. I would say the moment I took a mercenary crest, I think we we set ourselves like 90, maybe 95% chance to go eighth place. Because there's only one real world where you like top four that game. And that's where you hit like a really insane legendary at level seven roll. Like hit a Kench at seven. We rolled, we didn't hit five mercs. The game is already over. We try to salvage it with that random silver pull, but it wasn't good enough. Not good enough to like compensate for so many dead slots. Box box, you played two Brahms. Yes. I, you might be thinking that was a misplay, but no, the reason we played two Brahms, it's this concept. I'm not sure if you're familiar with it. It's called I'm poor as fuck and I don't have anything. So I'm going to just play two copies of the same unit who's high value. It might have, it might have been close if I uh, got to finish making my choices. I needed to like fully redistribute my items and then scout my matchups and then position. I needed like another like 15 seconds. So it wasn't that close. What's really sad is when you like try for, um, when you're like, like if I didn't buy that sivir at the end, I would have cried because that one sivir is such a huge upgrade. If I was like half a second off, one time I had this one game where I hit a Draven three on my last life, but it actually w w didn't upgrade into a Draven three. It, it played three Draven twos on my board because it, it takes 0.2 seconds to combine. That that was like heartbreaking. But yeah, no, I think the moment we like, it's like Mercenary Crest, we kind of accepted that we were trolling that game. I did it because I don't want my chat to go to bed. I hate to say it, but a very large amount of my influences are, dis are, are a lot, very large amount of my decisions are influenced by if I'm streaming or not. I, uh, I'm not kidding. Like, I know very well that if I took the correct choice there, everybody would just be like, I, I'm out. See ya. We know that the correct choice there was Thrill the Hunt, and then we just play like Strikers. But if we did, if I didn't take the meme choice, I would have lost half of my viewers. I understand as a streamer, this is what I have to do. It's like when we take the egg, even though we know there's a 0% chance that we're going to win with it. Okay, but here's a real game. Here's a real game where I can take Tiny Titans, get Mercs, and then lose streak the entire game. All right, I'm going to do it. Give me an Alawi and a Quinn. Hello, Cubics. I love a challenge. Ah, I guess we're win streaking. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. I I guess we're go we're going to play for a win streak. If if I have to. All right, you guys ready to be Mr. 135? I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Buy this and roll. Oh? I guess we'll win streak. Wait, I'm actually so sad that I'm win streaking though, because you could argue like, oh yeah, you could just start your lose streak later. But like, it's a brave Sapte game. Everyone's gonna have their Kaisas soon, and then I won't be able to cash out. Oh! Huh. 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 Uh. Now we begin. Okay, how can I orchestrate a good loss? Is this too strong? According to my calculations, if I put Camille right here, I will get a good loss.
Yes, it is the masterful art of barely throwing the game. Behold, the perfect loss. Behold! They call me Mr. 133, and then they're gonna call me Mr. 131, and then Mr. 129, and 127, and then, oh god, 124! Jesus Christ, he has seven units? 111? Oh my god! Albert, what's going on with your health bar? Oh, Jesus Christ, now we've gone all the way down to Mr. Wait, hang on, what item do I want here? Oh, God, Mr. 90? Mr. 65? How did you even take 24 damage in one turn? Oh, God, Mayday, Mayday, panic! This guy's got a Kaisa, too! This guy has 15 units on bench! Mr. 30! We're gonna die! That's gonna be me. All right, let's orchestrate a good loss. Okay. According to my calculations, I can actually do this. And get a good loss. The fun begins. Okay, so I specifically positioned in a way that'll make sure this guy's Caitlyn, who is my weakest matchup, or the weakest person against me, gets a good ult. Okay, that wasn't that great of a loss. Mr. 127, cool cat. Hello, Jow, Jow, Jow. Ooh. Jackpot. All right. This guy is weak. This guy is strong. This guy is strong. There's a two in three chance I face someone strong. Hmm. Okay, the reason we do this, I, if it was, if I had 30 gold already, I would actually be down to just play my stronger board. I'm pretty sure my stronger board still loses to that one guy, but here I can make 30. That's like, it's not like I was gonna kill units against this guy anyway. All right, does this board win? I know what you're thinking. No, it does not win. This board wins. Ha 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 ha. Box box, how do you calculate damage dealt? Okay, so the best way I can think of to calculate this, remember how damage formula works? All right, you're at a party with your friends and you're going, you're walking around, you're like, woo! You're holding your hand out. All right, and then everybody, everybody high fives you twice. A sivert, wow. Everybody high fives you twice at the party. Woo! Right, okay. And then at the, that's, that's two HP per unit. Every single person at the party high fives you twice. And then, I know what I'm doing. and then at the very end, your mom comes home and she's really angry that you have held a party and she slaps you. She slaps you for a very large amount of damage. And the, the amount of damage scales with stage. So it depends on what kind of mom you have. A stage two mom slaps you for two. A stage three mom slaps you for four, I think. A uh, stage seven mom slaps you for like 15 or something. It's really insane. I hope this helps. I hope this helps remember the formula. You know, I just realized, I'm really lucky. The first porno I've ever seen, in retrospect, was a really low quality porno. But like, it's so great because it then sets my standards so low for the future. Like, anything kind of erotic at all is just so good now in comparison. I'm so lucky. My standards are so low. Like, I feel like the happiest people are just people with really low standards. Like, if you have no standards for video games, like, if you show, like, some dude who's never played a video game before, like, Mario 64, he's probably like, oh my god, this is beautiful, right? And then you can show him, like, GameCube Mario, and it's like, wait, holy shit. And then you show him, like, uh, then you show him, like, Cyberpunk, and he's like, what the fuck? The standards are so low. I remember reading this one comic, uh, called XKCD. I fucking love XKCD. It's a webcomic. It's like a nerdy webcomic. And, uh, they say this, like, kind of jokingly, but I feel like there's, like, some real merit to it. 
if you played games on a five year uh, time lag, so like in 2020, you play games from 2015, and in 2015, you play games from 2010 and so on. If you're always five years behind, you still get that same progression of like games getting better, but every single game costs like $5. Isn't that OP? Oh, I'm down for level up here. I have so much money saved up. But yeah, level up mercs, I'm down. Doesn't that sound OP? Right, cause like, who cares if you have the highest quality video games, as long as your quality of games and quality of life is getting better, I feel like most people don't care. Right, it doesn't really matter what your standard of living is right now. What matters is, are you improving your standard of living? And over time, yes, some people are. Or, you can. And the, the lower your initial seed is, the, the cheaper it is to do that. Hello, Fist Maja. I feel, like, I feel like I'm the same amount of happy as I was years ago. Actually, I'm probably a little bit unhappier. Even though I have, I have probably like three times as much as I did five years ago. I'm like, I'm not, I was probably 1.5 to two times happier five years ago. And the reason for that is because my standards are so low back then. Now I'm like, I'm an adult. I make money now. I'm 25 years old. I want good food. I'm so goddamn picky. I'm so picky about my activities. Back then before like the internet was really that popular, I would I was down to play any video game. Mom brought home like roller coaster tycoon pog roller coasters. Oh my god. My dad brings home Sim City. Holy shit, I get to build a city in the palm of my hand. And then he brings home like the uh SpongeBob goes to the mall with Patrick and then Sandy Cheeks beats him up. I fucking love that game. That's my favorite. Dude, I I have the sequel. Glove, glove, give me the glove. Yeah, mom makes me noodles and egg. Oh my god, my favorite pog. Dude, back when I was a teenager, whenever mom made noodles and egg, it was my absolute favorite thing. Now, I realize that noodles and egg cost like a dollar and fifty cents and takes like three three minutes to make. But like back then, my standards were so low, I just loved it. I was I was just so happy to get it at all. Now I'm just like, oh, I could, I'm so snobby. I'm like, oh, I'll just Uber eat some sushi, right? I'm like, what have I become? My standards are too high and I can't lower them anymore or it's hard to lower them. All oh, right, I have level up. I was like, why did that only cost 20 gold? Yeah, I wish I could like go back in time and just lower my standards. Life would be so much more enjoyable. Box, box, you can still make noodles and egg? Yes, I, I totally can still make it. Oh, what I'm talking about is my standards have increased over the years, and then now I, I wouldn't be happy because I'm a fucking snob. Or, sorry, I've become more of a snob. I don't think I've, I've yet become too much of a snob. But like, now that I know there are better options out there, now that I've tasted expensive sushi, and now I know I can order it via Uber Eats and just like have it in, the, in my mouth in like an hour, I, it, it's hard to go back. Obviously, I would still be happy if my mom came over and cooked me noodles and egg, but my mom lives in Virginia and I live in California. Instead of making my own noodles and egg, I would rather just order sushi. Wait, I'm sorry. Are we playing a video game? <laughs> Wait, we're, we're playing video games. Holy shit. I forgot. <laughs> I was just like right clicking randomly on the screen for like the last 10 minutes. I mean, we we have we're, we're loose streak mercenaries with tiny titans. There's really not much to do. How many losses are you going to aim for? Uh, I think you aim for a target health rather than a target loss streak. So I could probably lose three more. Wait, dude, I could just go nine. What the hell? Tiny Titans level up? I feel like I actually high rolled Omega hard. I can just go nine. <laughs> I'm just going to fucking go nine. Give me a sword, 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 bow, sword, bow, sword, bow, sword, sword, bow. Nice. Let's begin again. That is a last whisper. Step two. Wait, I have a Galio, dude. I can play um Hurric or Hurricane Gwinsu's Galio. No, no, I, I should definitely play around my Sivir first. I have like a really good setup for the Sivir. Is it QSS first? Hmm. Let me think about it. 
Uh, I think it's Lost Whisper. Wait, I actually could have leveled up here. Wait, I'm so dumb. I I forgot that I actually like could have just leveled up and played an extra Vi or something. Oh, I have a glove here. Wow, what do I even play here? Oh, hello, Broden. Nice to see you here. Yeah, what do I even play? Wait, I have so much health, dude. I could actually go to... I might actually be able to go to a 12 loss streak. And then I just go fucking level 10 and just kill everyone. There's no way, right? Wait, this guy also has a... This guy's on an 8 loss streak and I'm on a 9 loss streak. Dude, one of us is getting paid today. Ironically enough, like, I think the one of... Whoever loses this wins the game. Because I've got health to keep going. Alright, okay, business. You can have this win, and then I'll take the next win, and we'll go first and second. Alright, let's get ready for this. Wait, am I cashing out right now? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, what? I didn't roll yet. Uh, okay. <laughs> I you're supposed I was supposed to roll first to take cash out, but <laughs> I'll, I'll take the I'll take the straight up cash out. I'm down. Okay, I want this jinx. Okay, I'll take the Galio. Okay, so normally when you cash out on a carousel, it's really awkward because when you come back to your board, you like touch all the orbs and then it, it sometimes fills your bench up. So this is like a really weird trick, but basically you look at someone else's board. You look like right here and you come back to this guy's board and then and then you teleport back to your board so you don't touch all the orbs. Isn't that kind of weird? Okay, so now I'm here and then I teleport. Okay. And then I can grab these one by one. Nico. That. <laughs> Let's do it! Level 10, baby! Sheesh! Get paid and get out. I'm so dizzy. Wait, this is too much. Uh, okay, I'm down for just like a Thieves Gloves on a high value unit. I don't know what the spat's gonna turn into. Wait, this guy's level 6 and I'm level 10. <laughs> and I lost. Okay, let's just grab like a bunch of high value units. I'm down. Uh, Sivir 2 or Jinx 2, either one. I could Nico right now. I don't think I want to. Uh, let's just do Cybernetic. Okay, alright, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna sell the misfortune. I don't. I don't need mutants. Three socialite. Okay, I'm down for three socialite Kaisa.
Maybe three soul shots, not it. I just got an item. Yeah, maybe three soul shots, not it. Uh, uh, fuck, I think. Think, 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 dunk, think, dunk, Albert, think. I have so many legendary pairs. Okay, do I really need Challenger? I don't think I do. I think I'd rather just have like another good unit, whatever that might be. I mean, she's not bad. Okay, uh, oh, I have a Challenger spot actually. Fuck, it's so hard to decide. Uh, I definitely want a Morellos here. A lot of choices. I'll probably Nico here. If I oh, I got I got the Morellos, nice. All right, all right, it's definitely a Challenger spot. All right. Behold, the latest in uh, technology, Chalio. Oh shit! Behold, Chalio. <laughs> Okay, can I? I'm, I'm gonna lock for this. What's the mutant? Oh, it's it's voracious appetite mutant. Maybe I maybe I do fit in this Kha'Zix somehow. Wait. This is like, this is so wokeage, dude. Don't I just kind of like win the game? Okay, I'm actually gonna save these. I believe in the Kench to print items. Wait, let's just play the Kench brothers. Yes, the Kench brothers. <laughs> Look at this Giga Chad Kench. Poor Thomas is so skinny. Yeah, I haven't fed him at all. I'm so poor because I went level 10, dude. I've got Chalio and Kaisa. Oh, my Kench almost just ate a spat. Yeah, you've heard of Chalio? This is more like Giga Chad Leo. He's so big. All right, what do I even want here? Uh. Oh, I have a laser frog. Go for three star Kaisa. No, nah, there's no way. Uh, for three star Kaisa to happen, everybody else in the game has to not have a Kaisa. And there's already multiple Kaisas out of the pool. All right, three star Kaisa from Arcane. Let the monster. Save gold for three-star Kaisa. It's not a matter of if I want to. It's literally impossible, dude. <laughs> I can't. You have some sick fantasies. There's ten Kaisas, and you want... There's, like, three out of the pool already, and you want me to get nine somehow? It's worth it to hold the grief? No, because then I'd have to sell my own pairs. Oh, he got an item. All right. I know exactly what item I want here. I can make a difference here. Sword. Okay, I have a crazy idea. I bet you if I slam an edge of night. I bet you somehow it's gonna make this Kench print. I bet you somehow he's gonna print. Dude, look at this! It's the Sprinkler Frog! Double Hurricane. Sheesh! My Kaisa almost got one shot. Thank God she has three social light.
You wanna go for three star Jace? You know, I'm down. I'm, always ready. I'm diggity down, dog. Also, Kench just called, he said he's on his way. Dude, they call me Mr. 27. Look at all these pathetic people forcing Kaisa. Three ZZ Rot Ziggs forcing Kai. Ha! Sivir with Striker Crown. Imagine playing any of these units when you could instead play the Kench twins and random bullshit. Look at this. You think Voracious Appetite, the god tier overpowered build with three ZZ Rots and perfect items, you think that beats me? No. Behold. The true Exodia of Kaisa. This is how Kaisa was meant to be played. Three socialites and a strong support network. <laughs> Dige. Oh, an item. Wait, was that not my item? Oh, was that his item? I'm always ready. Ooh, a shiv. Yes, this is the true form of Kaisa. Spread your items for Cybernet. It's so small, dude. It's 150 health. I'd rather just like try to get good items. Kench is on his way, guys. Any second now, he's gonna be home. I'm having so much fun this game. Kench, eat, eat an item, please. Oh my god, did she, Jace just jumped across the map. What is this board? Dude, it's the bullshit board. I hit Tiny Titans. And, oh. I'm always ready. Oh. Ho, ho. I demand an entree. All right. Wait, is this Wokage? The Silco juices up the Silco so that Silco makes Silco cast instantly. And then Silco makes these guys... Oh! Oh! Whew. Oh, baby. The brothers gas each other up. Watch this, like, somehow kill my entire team. Dude, the Silco just juiced up Silco. Nah, nah, I win, I win. Oh, item? Sheesh! Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Box Box, isn't it really scary that you might juice up your Galio or Kai'Sa? Nah, nah. They're, they'll kill everything. Roll? Dude, I got, I got nine gold. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Even if I hit two Jaces. Actually, okay, I could technically afford it if I hit two Jaces. Dude, my dude, it's it's tank. Tank Thomas today. Thomas the tank engine. All right, feet Thomas. No, no, I gotta go for Jace three. Nobody plays Jace anymore, so I might actually hit a Jace three. I'm so excited. Also, everybody's buying Kaisas, so the the legendary pool has actually been thinned out. So I might be able to just get Jace three. I might. I actually might. Oh, I actually lose this one. This Kaisa destroyed. Oh, I won. Let's go, Thomas! I didn't expect that. I thought I lost. I thought I lost. Oh my god. Wait, what's this? No. Why do you have two Jaces? No. No, he's gonna take the third. Oh, I actually misplayed. I should have grabbed the chain vest. I, I wasn't thinking. 
Wait, it's actually impossible for me to get Jace anymore because this guy's got three. Unless he dies. Unless he dies. <laughs> I should have taken the chain vest. It would have made a shroud. All right, let's wait until he dies. This guy? How is this guy alive? This guy's pathetic. Imagine only having one two-star legendary. Experience death. How can you fight so much juice? Everybody gets a Silco ult. All right, let me kill this. Let me kill the Jace guy. Oh, the Jace guy's dead. All right, it's just Kaisa guy. Of course, it's always Kaisa. into something greater. Hmm. Okay, this is really weird, but this guy has an assassin frog. So how do you combat the assassin frog? You counter him with a frog! My frog is running away for some reason! Wait, this guy, this fight is so chaotic. I can't tell what's going on. Am I winning? Oh, an item! If this is a chain vest, please be a chain vest. Please be a chain vest. Aww. Oh. Okay. Imagine a Nico here. Wait, th this guy is actually so cracked. This Ka this is like the final form Kaisa. Oh god. Okay. I need a Nico. Silko is killing your board. I promise you, Silko is not killing my board. <laughs> So goes 100% not killing my board. What's killing my board is the enemy Kaisa. All right. Goodbye, world. Dead. Damn it. If I got a shroud, I actually could have won that. 